What's going on folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today it's bright and sunny and we got we got the warthog hooked up and we are at the beaver dam. You guys haven't seen this place in quite some time. Kyle called me and said, hey, we harvested all the corn. Look at all the corn. But everything is harvested here, which means we can get the truck in here. Last time we tried to get the truck in here, the corn was super tall and it was just not a good idea. But now everything is all harvested and kyle said the beavers are back folks the beavers are freaking back he said that it's all flooded down there we can't quite see it right now but he said the beavers have dammed it up so high that it's flooded one of the fields i don't know if it's this field i can't see the water from here but he said basically the beavers are back and with the flooding and everything they they kept up with it i thought the flooding would have wiped it all out they kept building throughout the flood and now the creek is higher than freaking ever and we're gonna run down there and check it out and if it's looking bad it's war beavers. We're going back. We got to blow this thing up for the second time here. Before we get started, I want to do a quick reminder that flare gear is now available. This, this, and a whole bunch of other designs will pop up right here. They are now available for a limited time. Once they're sold out, they are gone for freaking good. We got rid of all of our personal merch and only did Google merch, but then you guys requested so much that you wanted some flare gear. So we brought some limited edition designs back for you guys. So if you guys want some, it'll be linked down below. Great holiday gift present thing you guys are looking for that like i said once they're gone they're gone they're a limited edition we're doing a quick run of them just for the people that have been asking about it they're available link down below anyways let's get the warthog off the trail dude this water is really high so this all this could be corn but it's not because of the beavers they flooded all this this is wasted moolah all right this could be corn it's not so we need to take care of this beaver dam to get the water low Obviously, it's not planting season. That's gonna be this spring, but we need to manage it so it doesn't get any worse. But looks like there's some ducks over there. The beavers dam this way up, so now there's like literally a little lake over there. But we're gonna go take a look at the beaver dam. What do you think that is, Bonzo? Remember this, Wisconsin Dells? Beavers. It's the beavers, boys. This is Wisconsin Dells. Look at the slip and slides. Dude, this is super high. So this looks like where the beaver slid and there's a little depression there. We started a beaver trapping last year for the first time. So we're, we're still kind of new, but this definitely looks like beaver territory. We can't, I don't even know if we can get to the beaver dam. We might have to go all the way around. This is all water. This used to be completely dry land all the way. Now it's all water. They flood the whole thing. Those are widgeon. Those two are widgeon. Woods, they look like woods. Wood What's down. up woods? Look at this group though. Oh yeah. There's a mallard on the right. See that guy? Yeah. Drake. There's a greenhead. The, the rest of them were, uh, well, those were at least woodies. I don't know about these ones, but there was one Drake, one Drake mallard, and a bunch of wood ducks. Be kind of sick to hunt this. Just like a little flowing creek, timber hunt action. But like I said, this right here, this was dry last year. Like completely. Dude, oh my, oh my God. Woods. What do you just That's a lot of wood ducks, Dude, bro. You could easily put the A frame right here. Yeah. Put decoys out. Dude, we should hunt this. This would be sick. Look how many wood ducks are here, bro. I mean, on a good note, you know, the beavers flooded it, so the wood ducks are liking it. We should do a timber hunt. Uh, Dude, yeah. throw some decoys right here. You could just stand, you could probably just stand on the timber, do a little timber action. Like I said, this is not supposed to be water. This was land. But I say let's try to get to the beaver dam and see what the situation looks like. There's like a lot of wood ducks here, boys. We should go hunting. No. There's another beaver dam. How'd they do that? Because it's flooded so much that they had to make a new dam. Because it would have just went around the corner, right? Yeah, so they made a new dam. What? Bro, the these things are smarter than us. I am so confused right now, boys. This was land, and now it's water with a new beaver dam. So what happened was this creek runs like this, and then it runs down the hill. They built the dam up so much that the water spread out, and the water started going over the hill down to the creek, and they built a whole dam. This whole thing's dammed up. We got a new beaver dam! What the hell? This is the new dam. Look at all the prints everywhere. So the actual dam, the actual dam's like right in there. You guys can see it over there. What's crazy is our path to walk to that dam was here and then we walked right here. This is where our walking path. Remember we would go through those trees right there. Now we can't and it looks like it's actually flowing here. They made this dam here to prevent the water from going down that way and down that way. It's actually going down that way now. This is insane i had no way when kyle said it was flooded i didn't know he meant this this is crazy how much different this all looks we were dealing with one creek with one beaver dam now we've got at least two beaver dams i mean this be look how long the dam is it goes bonzo from this end to that end which is the end of the actual beaver dam it all it's all connected i don't even know what do you think that is 40 yards 50 yards yeah it's that tall tree there all the way here i'd say probably 50 50 yards do you think yeah probably around that 50 yards of beaver dam 
It went from probably 15 yards to 50. This is what happens when uh, you let beavers just do their thing all summer long while you can't come out here because there's corn planted and everything else, and you don't kill them all during trapping season. Bonzo, we have to kill them all this year. This is getting bad. It's getting to the point where Kyle can't even plant any of this because it's so flooded anymore. And it's literally just wasted money because of the beavers. Can we even get to the actual beaver dam? Or do we have to blow this one and then blow that one? Let's see if we can get, we might be able to cross this river right here. Let's see if we can cross it. I am so confused right now. This looks so different. That used to be the old, that old bed right there. And it's not there anymore. Completely changed. The whole thing has changed. That used to be the bottom of the creek bed right there. Now it's dry land. We've got a whole new, this is a brand new creek. This was not here. This was all dry ground. And there's literally a creek that runs through the whole thing now, all the way down to the river. This is, so this, yeah, this is the original. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It goes way past it. It's all flooded over there. What? It's crazy. Dude, I thought we were at war before. This is actually bad. What happened was with the original dam, like I said, over there the water spread. So then they built more dam they, over there. They built a ton down that way. I, I mean, it, I haven't seen the end yet. I, can't, I haven't seen the end either. I'm kind of nervous where the end is. I, so they probably dammed it up because it was running the river that way. Oh, dude, we're dealing with a lot bigger dam than we thought. A lot more beavers than we thought. A think. lot more beavers. I mean, they built. That's, yeah, at least 50 to 60 yards of beaver dam. Their house is gone. Yeah. Gone. Their entire hut is gone. That giant hut that we kept trapping around last year, gone. So we found their house. They moved it. It was like right here. Now it's right there. I kind of want to go look at it. We're going on an adventure, boys. Wow. This, was, this used to be all water. This was water last year. Where we're standing was a little lake right here that was dammed up. You can see this is where it's running, you can hear it. I think honestly the strat is to make like 10 breaches in along the dam, like literally 10 of them, and put a trap on each, each and every single one in hopes that you catch all the beavers. But you guys get ready. If you guys like beaver trapping videos, you're in for a treat. It's gonna be absolute war here, this trapping season. I can kind of get a gauge here. There was water on top of it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. This is all just new. So all the new creek channels are just dug lower, lower. than they normally would. And this yep. is all normal. The water was so crazy during the spring and all the flooding. It just carved channels in all these little bays. I mean, there's creeks everywhere. Just, it literally just carved that in the earth and it all funnels into here. So that's what, that's why they built the new dam is this because it ran and it started going this way right here. So they built a new one here. It used to just run there. Now they built one here because it runs here. The good news is we have unlimited places to trap them. Oh, like yeah. I said, like we need to we need to make like ten holes. Yeah. And then to put a ton of traps. Yeah. Because the first night that they come to repair everything is the night you're gonna get them. They haven't been trapped at, if that makes sense. Try to get trapped for a while. Anyways, that's enough jibber jabber, folks. We we did not expect this. Kyle called me like I said, and he said, hey, we just combine all the corn. The beavers are back. The water's higher than ever. You need to get down here and look at this. I did not expect this at all. This is uh, this is insane. We're gonna need a lot of boom boom to get this taken care of. But we want to get it taken care of before it freezes, because then once it freezes, then once it obviously spring, then comes planting season, and we don't want all of the corn to get ruined by the water. And I would like for Kyle to be able to plant all this that's out there that he wasn't able to plant this year because of the beavers. So causing problems. Beavers are always problems. Anyways, we're gonna head back to the farm. You guys stay tuned. Whew. Well. Before we made it back to the farm, we had to stop and check this trail camera. If you guys remember, I don't know what video that was, but we came out here and it was the video that we moved the trail cam. We looked at the trail cam footage from where we put the blind up by the farm and we moved it over here. I don't know why, because I have like 27 trail cameras, but I just seem to only want to use one and have to move it around a lot. Not really very smart, but we are going to check the footy now. And if there's nothing super interesting, we're going to move it back to where the blind is and leave it there for good because deer season's coming up real quick. All right, looks like we got seven gigamobites of footy here. We just got to see, there's, we're looking for a big bucky, you know? We need, we need a buck. All right, first clip. What do we got? Doe. Little doe right here. Just walking. We're All right, number, we'll go with number five. I see a buck already. Ooh, okay. 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 There you go. Okay. Hello. Hello. How, how's it going? That ain't bad. So this one looks like, oh my gosh. Do you know what this is? That's the rack. Look how close this thing is. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Dude, this is, this must be the next morning. What's crazy is we literally just threw this on a random path. Like this is, he, there's nothing here. There's no food for him. There's really nothing. You know, we just put it on a random trail. It looks like this might be a doe. Yep. yep. You got a nice little doe. How's it going, little doe? Okay. 
this looks like this could be a buck right there. Oh, that's what this looks like, yes yeah, sir. How's it going? Is that the same one? That looks about an eight pointer, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, it literally stuck it on a random spot. All right, there's a deer here, what's this guy? That's a doe. So we've seen one doe, essentially, and one buck so far. There's a night shot, what do we got? Is it a doe or a buck? That's a buck, he went fast. He did. Go back. Oh, you can't even, I can't even count the points. But there's another buck, so there's bucks here. Yeah. That's good. That's really good, actually, that there's actually, there's bucks here. One thing that we got to figure out, though, is where do you hunt? We didn't find a really good spot here to hunt yet. Um, we just want to see if there's anything traveling here, but there's obviously some bucks. So there's a vehicle. Someone was driving. Who is it? Combine. Combine came through here. And the rest of the clips are sh us showing up. Well, there's one. One more. This might have been this morning. Oh, oh, blackbirds. A lot of blackbirds. Hashtag the migration. We've got at least one buck. One good-sized buck. A shooter. I'd shoot him. And a doe. Some local beauties that are roaming around here. So, we got decision to make, Bonzo. Is are you, this, are you a fan of tree stands? No, I've never put up a tree stand. I've never been in a tree stand. I feel in my like you'd life. fall out, so we shouldn't, shouldn't do that. I would. I would probably fall out of a tree stand. I don't think hunting here would be the strat. You're kind of no. out in the open. Yeah. Um, you're probably gonna want to go back in that thing. Yeah. But maybe we got We got to go buy a tree stand first. So I say for the timing, we know there's deer. And the thing is, like the spot, this isn't like a spot. So leaving the camera here ain't really gonna do much. We just know that there's deer in the area, cool. I say we take this camera back to the blind and set it up there so we can actually see if there's deer using, cause that's a very spot oriented spot. This is more just like throw a deer stand up and hope for the best. So we're gonna head back down to the farm. We're gonna take this thing and uh, go to the deer blind that we have set up. You guys stay tuned. Some on that one. Whew. Well, folks, we are at the deer blind. We're gonna see what the situation looks like. Oh, one of the corners has popped in. That's not good, I guess. Probably should pop that back out, huh? There you go. Good job, Rick. What do you think about it, Bonzo? You gonna kill a deer out of this or what? You never yeah. shot a deer. Yeah, I haven't. First deer gonna come out of this blind? I shot a buck. Dang, I was not throwing shade. I was just saying this would no, be your first good. deer. Chill. It's brown, it's down though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't care about bucks. This is where I think we're gonna put the camera back. We've put cameras down here before and the water's still here. It's actually way down. Last time we were here, the water was, you can see like the crease. I mean, it's gone down a lot, but there's still some water, which I would think that they would use that. And if you look up here, look. There's like a bunch of whole animal paths that look like they walk on this, this little hill and then come straight down to get water. And then you're gonna be right there. It's pretty, it'll be, it'd be a close shot. I think we should put the, put the camera right around this area. And we'll be gearing up for deer season here. We've been we've been gearing up. And now you guys are saying, why aren't you deer hunting? It is deer season. We're waiting for the rut. We're waiting for when them bucks are on the move. Looking for that doe action. That's when I want to hunt. That's when, uh, I mean, if you've got does coming here for the water, the bucks will be right behind them. That's kind of the plan right now. We're going to get the camera set up. Hopefully someday, Bonzo can kill his first deer out Hello? here. Hello? Tell your girlfriend you'll call her back. Okay. She is on and ready to go. Okay, they probably can. come right there and drink right there. There we go. They come down in there, which I assume that's where they'd kind of come down and venture around. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. You think that's good? Hell yeah. Deer season. Bonzo, get on the back. What are you doing? It's meant for one person. Sis, who? It says the thing you're sitting on. It says no two people. So that means it's We gotta be quiet one. though, kinda, don't we? What's the plan right now? We're gonna shoot some crows. I got some ammo. What are those? Teeth. Te bro, they're teeth. I don't wanna wound crows. Bro, so we were driving. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back. We are back at the house and uh, we were pulling into the driveway and there was a giant crow. And Bonzo was like, yo, let's go crow hunting. How do you go crow hunting? I don't know. So I texted my boy Kendall and I was like, yo, how do you crow hunt? He's like, well, the number one key is you have to be perfectly camouflaged. I don't think we're gonna be perfectly camouflaged today, but there's a tree row down that way. And the way the sun's sitting, we'd be in the shade. So I think as long as we're in the shade pocket, we'll be good. But we need to unload the UTV. We're gonna take it kind of close to there. Not in there, we're not gonna shred it up. And like, we're gonna try to be somewhat quiet. But I don't see any more crows. Bonzo's itching to crow hunt. And you had crow decoys. Yep. Are those felt? Those are bougie crow decoys, Bonzo. Yep. Why do you have bougie, bougie crow decoys? I'm a bougie crow hunter. What do you think the odds? You're a crow hunting? Never. Have you? All the time. No, you have not. Yeah. None of us have crow hunted. That's the problem. Kind of makes me nervous. I mean, I have the e collar. I feel like, I feel like it's one. It's kind of like cow hunting. This is how I look at cow hunting. They're either there or they're not. Imagine everything for hunting. 
Yeah. <laughs> but like everything. Yeah, but like there's not like they either come no they <laughs> same with mallards. No, no, I mean like you guys see what I'm saying. It's like you don't think too hard about it. You know, coyote hunting, it's like, oh, the wind and the location. It's like they're either gonna come in or they're not gonna come in. I think you overthink a lot of things, Sponsor. You're an overthinker, aren't you? I think it we're gonna get crows. you you think so. Very confident. Alright, well, anyways, that's that. We're back at the house. Bonzo wants to kill a crow. Are you gonna eat it? I think you have to eat it, I feel like, right? Is it legal? Can you not eat crow? What's it's your plan? To cook it for slamming, but Tr that's a good idea. We could prank slamming. What if it tastes like cheeks and we're like, yo, try the flaming out of the sky? It's like a say it's like a mallard or something. Yeah. We that's give him funny. the We should. Alright, that's that's the plan. You guys take it. That's so shaded. And then you think you just put the call like uh, out in the sun. So I think this is the spot. I think we should sit against that big tree because it's all shaded, right? And then put the call kind of where this is. Like Bonzo, you put the call in the decoys. Because it's up, up on this hill kind of in the sun, right? And then we're over here, kind of like down a little bit. And we just need to hide the old UTV in. Oh, that's a blackbird. I got excited for a second. Nope. Yep. That was up. Is that what they sound like? <laughs> no, that's not what they sound like. Don't they go? Oh, they do go caca. Yeah. Ah! I'm, gonna I'm, gonna give the, I'm gonna give them a little landing hole. Land right in the middle of them. John made a good point. Do they land in this tall grass? You just need to use one in a circle. Yep. Remember, I'm an expert. You got a crow call on there? Oh, there's gonna be a crow call on here. Crow battle, crow distress, crow gathering, lone crow, rowdy crow. Let's give a little test here, just quietly. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of crows. You think two crows can sound like that? What about the, what's the crow solo? Lone crow. We can, get, we can bounce before the, between those two. Just do a couple different ones? Yeah. Okay. You think about putting the call? Do they, they, do they need to see it? Is yeah. it bad if they put, see put it? Put it tree. You don't think that'll like be weird or no? What, think about when you're ducking. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right, that's good enough for me. Beefcake loads, Bonzo. My shoulders are gonna be gone. My shoulders gonna be Gonzo, Bonzo. These are three and a half T's, okay? I like, think you could kill, I don't even know, a, a rhino with this thing or something. Anyways, we're loaded up. I feel pretty good about our spot, honestly. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna see us. Sun's at our back. I feel pretty good about this. They won't be able to smell us. The wind's in the right direction. Yeah, and the wind's also in the right direction. Can crow smell? Is that a joke? Yes. All right, we're getting this going here. Should we just go crow gathering? Just yeah. full blown. Try rowdy crows. Rowdy? Rowdy. Dude, I heard one behind us. I heard one. Yep. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. Is that one? Get ready. If you could think you can kill him, shoot him. <laughs> you think that was too far? Yeah, that was too far. Bro, I, I mean, I didn't think they were going to get any closer. What'd you think, John? And you have tea shots. So. I had tea shot three and a half, so I just let her eat, did dude. You shoot three times? Yeah. How did you throw the field? Throw the field was great. I, I, next, I mean, next time I'll let them get closer. That one was not that far. It wasn't cl super close. If they were right on top of us, would they have like, just... Yeah. That's the, that's the problem with... We're, I mean, we're we're down at a hill too, so you gotta think about that. Me and John both thought about like, eh, maybe we should go up there. We should have. Yeah. We would have hit it. We would have hit them. Let's just walk up there. Okay. Okay, we made a move. This is where we should have started because they would have came right over our heads, and you can see better, and we're way closer. That was route. They love the rowdy crow. I can't believe how well that worked. So I'm still in disbelief that it worked that well. That was like three that was, minutes. Yeah, that was automatic. Two big boys came in. We just didn't have the right position on it. We should have came right here. I'm not gonna lie, I got adrenaline rushing. I never thought I'd get an adrenaline rush from crows. When I saw those things coming in, I got all sorts of excited. Oh, they just bent. <laughs> oh, that's one that was low. It's really low. Really low. Really low. You get the last one. Got him! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sick! 
<laughs> bro. That's my shot. Is it your third shot? Yeah. Second, third shot. Well, we got one down. Time to go find it. I think this is a bad one. Oh, I got him. Right really? You got him? Yeah, you want to grab him? You! We got him done dead, boys. Got him. Yee-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> the old crow. We got her done dead, Bonzo. Well, we're back to the house. It's time to clean and eat this crow. But what we said at the beginning of this video was we're gonna make Slayman eat it. We gotta give him a call real quick. Yo. Yo, what's up? Not much. How yep. are you? I am doing fantastic. Are you able to come to my home today? Like right now? Come to your house right now. <laughs> come to my house right now, yeah. You're joking. No. Why, what are you doing? I'm with a girl, I'm with a girl, bro. She's no, like, you're oh. not. I'll snap you. I'll no, dude, you're Oh you're my so goodness, Sam. Oh, are you up north? You're not even home, are you? No, I'm in Brickings. Bro, I thought you were home. Doesn't she still have to go to like high school and stuff? Yeah, doesn't it, isn't it? It's a school oh, night, dude. What time are you gonna leave her house? It's a school night. Bro, what do you mean? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's school night? <laughs> yeah, it is, it's school night, bro. Okay, you should, on real talk though, you should come over. Bro. It's not, it's three hours away, four hours, five hours. Three How far hours. are you? Oh my, the, big, the longest drive. It wouldn't be that bad. Bro, we on. have a surprise though, Bonzo bought you something. Really? Yeah, it's a new new is farm, it, new farm it, toy, just for you. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> no, it's not. So if you that's if that's that. your strat for tonight, then I would advise you you should probably stay. Maybe just come over tomorrow then or something. Bonzo, Bonzo got you a gift, and we really need you over. But if that's the strat tonight, then I'll let, then I I mean. All right. Well, you um, enjoy your evening. Be safe tonight. I will. Have her have her home by eight. She just got to get up early for school tomorrow. All right. See you. Bye. What a what a guy. He's always, why, it's like a new thing for my channel. Call Slayman, and he's with a girl, or he had been with a girl and snuck into her house. You guys, if you guys saw the duck hunting video, long story short, I called him to see how he was doing, and he told me this story about how he snuck into a girl's house, and other things, and different, yeah, and other things happened, and uh, you guys thought it was pretty funny, so there's that for you. Anyways, well, after uh, further discussion between the homies and I, we've decided we want to, I'm honestly pretty nervous to eat crow. Don't they, aren't they basically, they're like vultures, aren't they? I eat anything. I just, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like, uh, I mean, I eat literally anything. I don't want to be the first to eat this one. And I, like, I know, Bonzo eats anything too and you're hesitant, which scares the hell out of me. Yeah. You don't eat that many oh, weird yeah, things. So, like, I know for sure you're not eating it. Which I'm not saying I'm not going to eat it. I will eat it. I just don't want to be the first person to try it. That's the thing. I'm going to eat it, but I don't want to be the first person. I think we can trick Slamin. We can say it's literally anything else. Like, we could say it's whatever it looks like, I guess. Once you cook it, it'll probably look like a duck or a dove or something like that, I guess. I don't know. We'll tell them. It's probably not dove season, is it? So, probably shouldn't tell them it's a dove. But you guys, like you, guys get, you guys get the point. We'll come up with a way to... Convince him. Basically, we're gonna tell him that we bought him a farm toy. He's gonna get here and be like, okay, first, before we show you, you gotta eat something. But that was the plan for this video. He's not able to make it. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this thing and put it in the old freezer and save it and then cook it next time Slamin comes back in town. But I am not going to be showing you guys the cleaning process because YouTube is, I mean, they, they have been for the longest time now demonetizing videos that show blood and, and gutting and stuff like that. And they're actually like going really hard. It's not even about demonetization. They're literally like suppressing channels. Fun fact for you, Lunkers TV, right now, he had an age restricted video, which was an elk hunting video, and they suppressed his channel. So if you go look at his channel right now, his view count, it's not because people don't like his content. It's literally because YouTube is not showing his videos to his subscribers and promoting his channel. And he talked to YouTube and they literally told him, since you got an age, age, age restricted video for showing blood, we're like basically suppressing your entire channel. So as much as I would love to show you guys how to clean this thing, I'm not gonna do that for this video. Maybe the next video, if I can figure out how to get around the whole thing, but that's pretty much the backstory on what's going on in the YouTube world. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do that since it's not gonna be a catch and cook. We're not gonna be eating it today. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any crow hunting tips, let me know in the comment section down below. And flare gear, this right here. You guys want some of this? This, this, and other things will be linked down below. Go check it out, it's limited edition. Once they're gone, they are gone for good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.